Cattle ranching increased when Mexico gained its independence from the Spanish in 1821. By the 1850s, cattle could be herded and taken to market. Railroads allowed ranchers to ship cattle to the northern and eastern United States. Stockyards and packing houses sprung up in Chicago and St. Louis. In order to get cattle to the stockyards and packing houses, routes from Texas had to be created. The Chisholm Trail was the first great cattle trail. Cattle could be taken from Victoria, Texas to Abilene, Kansas along this trail. From there, cattle could be sent on a train to Chicago. Other trails included the Western Trail and the Goodnight Loving Trail. Life on the trail was not easy. Trail drives typically took weeks to complete and there was always the danger of Native American attacks. Cattle ranching was big business in Texas. Four of the best known ranches were the King Ranch, the J.A. Ranch, the Matador Ranch, and the XIT Ranch. The King Ranch was founded by Richard King and Mifflin Kennedy. The J.A. Ranch was founded by Charles Goodnight and John Adair. The land for the XIT Ranch was given to a contractor in exchange for the construction of a new capital. Cattle ranching was not the only type of ranching in Texas. Sheep and goats were also raised. With ranching came new technology. In 1873, Joseph F. Glidden invented barbed wire, which proved to be effective for fencing in herds. Windmills allowed for water to be pumped in from underground sources. Ranching was not limited to men. Some women worked alongside their husbands. Women also ran ranches themselves. Ranching contributed to the culture and economy of Texas.